Hello, friends. Welcome back to Five Live on this Thursday. As always, we are joined by Emma Fife from Venn to talk about what's going on in the world of video games and pop culture. Hey, Emma. Hello. How's it going, everybody? It's a great Thursday. I was promised overcast skies, but the, the sun just kind of came out and took me by surprise. I didn't bring my sunglasses today, so. Oh, no. <laughs> well, well a good thing you don't have transition lenses, because that's worse than just forgetting your sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's, pretty, it's a pretty cool move when you step outside and all of a sudden your glasses just fade to black. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's oh, pretty yeah. sweet. Or fade to blue. Fade to blue. Fade to blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few theme things can seem more daunting than programming software, at know. least for me. <laughs> uh, but like most things, once you grasp the principles, Emma, they say the world is your oyster. So what's and Nintendo, Nintendo doing here? It's indeed true. The world is your oyster because Nintendo has basically created a new game wherein uh, kids or you can learn how to program your very own video game. Uh, it is called Game Builder Garage. It's a game that, again, teaches you how to create games, and the adorable intuitive gameplay will hook Honestly, anybody, uh, mm. it's everyone wants to make games, right? And the best yeah. part is it's only $29.99 versus a lot of other titles on the Nintendo Switch, which will uh, cost you $60. This is pretty exciting. And I think it's uh, a cool way to try to give kids excuses to play video games. Exactly. Like, I'm learning. No, I'm mm -hmm. learning. I'm doing STEM. Yep. Yeah. Let me play games. <laughs> right. The Olympics yeah. are back this summer, and fans around the world will have more access than ever before to the world's greatest athletes. Tell us about a new streaming yeah. partnership with Twitch. That is correct, yes. Thanks to a partnership between the Olympic Committee and the streaming service Twitch, the events themselves of the Olympics will not be broadcast on stream, but Twitch will have a dedicated channel covering the games. We are looking forward to seeing live Q&As, interviews, interactive features, and more coming at the end of July when the games kick off. Well, wait a minute. Is there an audience for this? I, I, mean, I, mean, uh, I mean this like in the most no. sweet way. Oh, yeah, completely. I mean, this is the thing is I think that anybody that already is viewing the majority of the content that they consume on Twitch specifically, they are likely to come across this. I am sure that they will have front page support. They will mm -hmm. be in the carousel. Mm -hmm. It will get eyes on it. So I think who this is for is more than likely an audience that may be relatively new to Olympics, but isn't new to Twitch, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. Do you, do you see a world in which maybe someday the Olympics is broadcast on Twitch, or is that something that NBC probably would never let happen? Is it NBC? I mean, NBC, okay. yeah. Yeah, NBC. NBC probably would be grumpy about it, but I think that they would be doing themselves a favor by broadcasting on Twitch. Not that NBC necessarily broadcasts, say, traditional awards shows, but if you look at the numbers on, like, TV and film award shows versus, oh, yeah. say, mm -hmm. the gaming awards, you know? I think the numbers kind of speak for themselves. Well, I think you have like a specific dedicated audience who likes to see that kind of content on there. That yeah. makes sense. But what I am trying to figure out is how we get a Ven 5 Live front page support for Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, would make that yes. I mean, you know anybody over there at Amazon who can just uh, flip a switch and put us on there in front yeah. of everybody? They'd uh, love just, us, uh, let me tell you. I, I, give Jeff Bezos a call. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys' uh, color coordination. You're wearing the pink with the black. She has pink in the background with all black. It looks really neat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Look thank at that. You. Emma, wow. good job. They found us out. Oh, thank you. Yes, you we too, were, Andy. You too. We were uh, uh, thoroughly planned, as usual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. planned yeah. it on a Discord chat. Uh, <laughs> That's the, it. It's the Discord 5 Live. Sure. Five Live Ven. Uh, you know, I have that one muted. It's yes. weird. I didn't get your memo. Yeah, everyone does. Purple today. Um, Emma, to yeah. be a professional gamer seems even more and more every day like a viable career path. So, colleges offering esports programs. This is something that my parents. I mean, I don't. I'm not a big gamer, but my parents would tell me, "Get off the computer." You're never gonna do anything with your life. Mm. You're like, sorry, mm -hmm. mom, I just games. bought you a house. Yeah. <laughs> how much you? Yeah. How much you gonna talk smack on me now? Well, look at you, see Irvine, yeah. and those ant eaters out there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It turns out, uh, gaming actually is one of the fastest 
growing and most lucrative markets uh, in the job industry, and more and more jobs in that field are opening up every single day. So, yes, there are colleges that are now offering both intramural and varsity programs for competitive gamers and students looking to get into esports broadcasting and designing the technology that makes it all work. Ben actually recently ranked the top 10 esports programs in the U.S., our top three schools. We mentioned UC Irvine, they're out there, Miami University, and Michigan State. Oh. Wow. Is that Miami University, Ohio? Is, or I'm just, because <laughs> I, I can Miami, get in there. Ohio. No, it's true. There. Yeah, there, there is a Miami, Ohio, but uh, this, this I, I Miami, think there Miami. is anyway. Yeah, no, there yeah, is. There Miami, is. Miami. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. well, that's exciting. Um, and I have yeah. one more question about esports, and that yes. is that uh, I've been working, we've been all working in some form of digital media for, God, it what feels like 10 lifetimes now. <laughs> Back in 2012 and 13, there was this real push to make mm, to make esports content work, meaning yes. like do the sports center for esports content, and yeah. um, they, they are sort of successful, I guess now. But nobody could really figure that out that out then. Uh, are, are we at a point now where like this is this is really here to stay? From a from a, like being a, a, a shoutcaster or being someone who's yeah. involved in like ancillary programming for esports, that's like a real thing, that, a nut we have cracked, or no? I don't know that it is a nut that we have fully cracked, but if you can imagine, there's like a nut, like the nut is in like the mm -hmm. mouth of one of those Christmas yeah, nutcrackers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's like it's there, it's ready to crack. The fact of the matter is, it is a big deal that they are now offering these training programs for these young people that do want to get involved with esports as a career because there are a lot of people out there that have the interest, that have the expertise, who are very talented. But when it comes to broadcast, like broadcast is a skill that can be taught and needs to be nurtured and you need to get experience doing it. It is not enough to simply know a game really, really well and be able to talk about it. It's about the presentation of it. Mm. So I do like that we are seeing these universities go, oh, hey, look, esports is just as viable as what we sometimes call T-sports or traditional sports as far as career options go. And so or there sports. should be programs. <laughs> yeah, 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 there should be programs to develop this. Right, you and this, this is still a relatively new thing. So do, do, you, do you find that like more colleges and, and, and corporations are, are seeing new money to be made and that's why they're kind of putting more effort into, into developing professional gamers? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, some of the companies behind some of the big games in the esports world, I know, are in the process of developing training programs for up and coming talent. Um, even Twitch is mm -hmm. out there, you know, hiring basically uh, somebody to help develop talent for the Twitch partner program. So people are really starting to accept these jobs in mm -hmm. gaming as being extremely legitimate. And I think that the more people get this exposure to esports. And it'll be really, what I'm really, really interested to see is whether esports like makes its way into more like quote unquote traditional or mainstream broadcast. Mm -hmm. The Twitch is pretty dang mainstream these days. Right. Or if more and more people make the shift to these sort of digital yeah. broadcasts and I that think you're, just uh, yeah, I, th I think it probably, it's probably a little bit of both, but I, I, yeah. I would put my money on the latter more than the former. Uh, but speaking of which, I think more than anything, we also see people now getting into it because they can make a lot of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so. yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Robert, you mentioned, yeah. or Emma mentioned presentation. Did you have something you wanted to share, Robert? No, no, I just, I have that look. This is where the, the, it's it. They will put in that little nut there and then just crack it. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's the nutcracker. I just find it mind blowing that, you know, Robert, Andy, and I grew up playing video games, but nobody ever called us talented for it. No. And now, <laughs> now that world has changed. Now, yeah. 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 yeah but I, I mean, I, you know, I used to pretend to be sick so I could <laughs> stay home and play video games all day. Oh, uh, you had to pretend? Hmm, lucky. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. <laughs> Emma, where can people see more from you and Ben? You can watch Ben uh, at Ben.tv, also on Roku TV and all kinds of other places. Uh, be sure to check out our YouTube channels as well, Ben Download, Ben Plays, and Ben Esports. Uh, yeah, and then I'm at Emma Fife, just everywhere. Emma, happy Thirsty Thursday. Happy Thirsty Thursday. We'll be right hmm. back.